Hello and welcome to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to be trying something that I've done once before on the channel so far, uh, and that's have a go at uh, three wordle variations. So we're, we're going to start with warmle, uh, as we've done before. Uh, we haven't got a lot of information uh, today to start with, but as you'll see when we go along, it gives you a yellow or a green if you're close alphabetically. So for example, if it was a C and I did a D, E or F or an A or B on the other side, it would give me a yellow. But we haven't got a lot of information to go on based on the, the random uh, guess that it's given us so far. So, uh, what do we want? We want some letters near the middle of the alphabet perhaps? Let's try clone. Okay. Still no yellows, interestingly, so we're not very close on the letters that we are wrong on. Um, what could the second letter be? The second letter is probably going to be a consonant. I'm thinking I've probably got both consonants. Could be score, perhaps. Okay, that's narrowed it down slightly. How about those? There we go. Got it in four, not too bad. Um, I'm going to be doing these in order from order of how much I enjoy them. So I don't mind for warm or the XOR door I like slightly better. Um, and this basically is one where you have two words to guess at the same time. So the A could appear in either word similarly for the S. But we know there's only one S in total. I think that's how it works because the second S in that guess that it's given us is green. I'm going to start trying some words that use letters that we haven't got yet. Oh, that's been quite helpful. Um, I want to try and use the E somewhere. That's probably useful. How about wafer? That uses of letters in new positions. Okay, and now three more new letters. Oh, I don't like using the M, but never mind. Okay, we've got rid of the THY anyway. So we've, so far we've got six distinct letters. Obviously if we've got ten, as I said on the last video when I did this, if we have ten distinct letters we can just anagram them into two five letter words but we might end up with fewer than 10 distinct letters, so that doesn't quite give us a foolproof plan. I want to try and use maybe the L and an N. Land. Okay, so we've got an L and an N, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we've got eight different letters so far. Still not the L or the N in the right place. Okay. Where's the R gonna go? We almost I think we're gonna need a duplicated A or an E. Two words with only two vowels between them means one of them might appear more than once. So I'm gonna try moving them around a bit. Okay, there we go, we've got the second A. And we're still we're running out of places to try the R. It can't be first, fourth, four, fifth. And now we know that the fourth letters are both E and A, so nothing else can go fourth. Salad is looking good to use up both the A's, there we go. And so what have we got left? Starts with G, of course. And it's going to end E blank. Where can the R go? The R is surely going to be green salad. They're not always themed, but it's nice when they are. Right. It's a tricky one there. I probably should have done better, to be fair, but I only had one guess spare, so not my best performance. And now this one is the one that I always find hardest. So just as a recap, 
standard Wordle rules. So this is telling us that there's no G, L, or Z, and it's telling us that an A is in the wrong position and an E is in the wrong position. However, one of those things is lying to us. So I'm going to try a completely new word, but keeping the A and E in the same place to see if they're consistent. And then not. So the A is definitely lying in at least one of those. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's try another word ending S E. Well, it's unlikely that the E is lying. I don't think it can be because then the A would have to be correct both times. So there is an E, but it's not last. So, um, I'm just trying to think of a word that's got E, A, and S in, but doesn't end in an S. Hmm. Well, it doesn't end in an E, sorry, it could end in an S actually. How about guest? Or oh, well, let's write guest. It's a better guest than quest. Okay, so the AS is lying to us in one of those. The G probably is correct in that it doesn't appear in the word. I think I should give up on the G. I'm going to try moving some of the letters around again. Right, so again, the T is lying in one of these two. Let's, let's start to try and use some instinct. I think the E probably is correct and so hasn't been lying at all. If we're going to be pessimistic to get the least amount of information, let's say we don't know about the R, we don't know about the T, we don't know about the A, which would mean, oh, and then the S must be lying in that word. So what what could we do? We've not used an awful lot of letters now that we've ruled those out. Let's try the uh, O. That's much better. So I think the E is for one that's... Oh no, it can't be. The E can't be lying there because otherwise everything else is correct and we're going to end up with something that looks like that. And there's, there's no word where we exchange the X for another letter. So the E can't be lying there. So it has to be lying there. Which means the R is true. So maybe the... I'm convinced there's an E in the word somewhere. The odds of us getting four, three, three yellows, and a green, and another yellow, <laughs> when there isn't an E at all. I don't even think it's, well, it probably just is, a, but just about plausible if we have the P's, O's, and A's instead. But I'm going to assume that there's an E, but it's just not in any of those positions. In fact, Okay, let's 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 prove it. So if the E is lying all along, then the word is going to end SR. That's not going to happen. Okay. So that E must be lying. Which means there's no A or T, so those two are lying. The O can't be lying, because if the O is lying, then we've got something like that. What, well, sorry, the O can't be lying and green. It could be um, grey. What the vowels are we going to have then? We can't have a U. We're going to need to get this uh, I in somewhere, perhaps. 
but it's not gonna end ER. Let's try I know could we I was gonna try prior. In fact I still might do it because it tries another place for the O. It double checks the P and the R and it checks the I. I think that's a good guess. Okay. What's that told us? <laughs> If the P is lying, then it's going to have to be P something, something O, R. I cannot think of anything that's going to fit in there. So if the P is lying over there, that means one of these things is true. Or it means one of these things is false, it would have to be the O. Wow, I'm not too very well at this one. Maybe, maybe. Where can the E go? I'm assuming now that the R does go right at the end. Has to be a let's just try some new letters and try a new place for the E. Right. Has that helped us at all? <laughs> Probably not. Oh, we already knew there wasn't a D. to end in an R, surely, and it can't end ER. I'm going to fail this, I've got a feeling. So if it, it has to, if it has to end in an R, then the S yes must be lying. So we've ruled everything out from those. What are those last two telling us? If the E is lying and it's actually a green, then it's C E something O R. Which would have to be maybe there's two R's? It could be error. There's three R's. Oh gosh. Oh wow. That was very tricky. Let me know how you got on, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>